Dear students, we have ties in X observations or in Y observations and we are interested in calcul or if there may be uh, ties both in X and Y and we are interested in calculating the association between X and Y that whether they are associated to each other or they are independent to each other then we can make use of the Kendall's Tower test. But as uh, we are considering the data sets that have tight observations then we would have to make correction for the ties. So I would be taking a real life example and I will be showing to you that how to calculate the Kandal's Tower test in case that there are a significant number of ties in X and Y both. So students this is a problem that was being taken by Pierce in 1968. Uh, he has pointed out that in most investigations of lightning discharges to earth the estimated quantity of electricity passing from the cloud to the ground is around 20 to 30 coulombs. However, Pierce cites the data of Mies and Evans in 1962 reported much larger values. Their data reported by Pierce in 1968 is shown and we are required to test whether there is a direct relationship between the distance in kilometers and the charge which is being taken as coulombs. So students, this is the data that is being given to you. Distance is being taken as X and uh, Y charge is the next observation that we have had under Y. So the first thing you need to do is that you would have to arrange your X's. As you can see that X's are being arranged. The minimum value we have had is 6. And as you can observe that there is a tie in case of number 6. There are 5 observations that are being tied under 6. Then if we just move on, there are 3 observations again that are being tied and they are all equal to 10. And further, we have 2 observations. One is 15 and then next we have 15 under X that are being tied with each other. Similarly, if we just observe the Y values here that under the Y, we have 2 tied observations that are same and they are equal to 46. Now students as the data is already being arranged according to the x so what we need to do is that we have to take up the minimum most value under x which is 6 so we first pair ko pehle pick up karenge. so with the x we would be picking up the y to formulate a pair so 6 comma 23 then the next value is 6 comma 46 then again 6 comma 46 then we have 6 comma 47 and finally we have 6 comma 94 so six observations all are all of them they are showing the tie similarly we'll be completing our ranking columns by taking the last value of x as being 25 along with its y value as 1065 now moving back we need to calculate the y pairs in natural order the way we have done in kendall's tower test without ties now students the if we just look into first y value 23 now we have to see that how many values are larger than this 23. So as you can see 1, 2, 3, then 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. There are 15 total observations that are larger than 23. But as you can see that this 6 value it is appearing 5 times in the data. So, you leave this value, which is the total of 23 values, the total value of the total of the students is 15. Now, there are 15 values that are the total of 23. But as you can see, here you have the total of 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 the तो आपको वैल्यू मिलेगी 11. Similarly, 46 के अगेंस्ट अगर आप देखिए, तो आपको ऐसे ही बाकी वैल्यूज मिलेंगी और उन में से भी जो आपकी six ties हैं, उनको आप माइनस करके, क्योंकि आप once you have obtained the 11 value जो कि six के रैंक के अगेंस्ट आई है, so if you remember कि हम जो tied observations हैं, उनको same rank assign करते हैं. So इसके लिए you need not to calculate or compare this 46 value with the rest of values that are larger than that. 
आप सेम इलेवन जो रैंक है आप असाइन करेंगे उन तमाम वैल्यूज को जिनमें आपका x इज इक्वल टू सिक्स सो वंस यू आर डन विद दैट देन यू वुड मूव ऑन टू द नाइन्टी फोर एंड यू विल सी अंडर द नाइन्टी फोर दैट हाउ मेनी वाई वैल्यूज दैट आर लार्जर देन नाइन्टी फोर सो एटी इट इज नॉट ग्रेटर देन नाइन्टी फोर देन वन देन दिस इज नॉट दिस इज ग्रेटर this is greater this one is greater this one is greater than 94 this one is greater than 94 this value is greater greater and then greater than 94 so counting them you would be getting a value which is equal to 9 then further if you just move on to the 80 80 value ke against this one is larger than 80 this one is larger than 80 this one is larger than 80 and even the rest of the values are larger than 80 so counting on them you would be getting a value 10 ab yahan pe dekhiye students aapne 9 kyun liya tha because ye jo six pair tha again the six pair would have a value which is 94 jiske against aapne subtract kiya total values jo isse badi thi aur uske against aapne ye 9 likha uh, so you would be completing this complete uh, column the way you have done in case of candle tower test but here you would have to regard for the ties jisne time wo value tie hui hoti hai aap usko usme se total number of values jo se larger hai unme se minus kar rahe hain now moving on to the y pairs in reverse natural order students ab yahan pe dekhiye aapne dekhna hai ki kitni values hain jo 23 se small hain as you can see by default the data is being arranged even for y So we have not arranged the data. The data is being shown in the same way. So as you can see, there is no value which is uh, you know greater than twenty three. That is not less than twenty three. Rather, all the values are greater than twenty three. So because twenty three is a no value which is small, so we would be assigning zero to zero rank to it. In this way, if you look at the forty six value, so forty six against we have 46 जो कि एग्जैक्टली इसके आइडेंटिकल है बट इट इज नॉट स्मॉलर देन 46. तो 46 से भी कोई वैल्यू ऐसी नहीं है जो कि स्मॉल है सो अगेन वी वुड बी असाइनिंग जीरो टू इट नाउ मूविंग ऑन ऑन टू द 94. देखिए 94 से कितनी वैल्यूज आपके पास छोटी हैं नंबर वन इज 80 एंड देन यू हैव 81. वन सो देर आर टू वैल्यूज डाउन द कॉलम विच आर लेस देन नाइन्टी फोर एटी में अगर आप देखिए एटी से नीचे कोई ऐसी वैल्यू नहीं है जो उससे छोटी है so you would be assigning zero to it ab 133 ko dekhiye isse below value ek to 81 aapko milegi and second one is 114 the rest of the values down the ranking column they are greater than 133 so two values hain jo isse choti hain so similarly you would complete the entire column now summing over y pairs in natural order that gives us p 95 and summing over y pairs in reverse natural order that gives us a uh, q as 11 which are the sum of the discordant pairs now in order to test the hypothesis we need to formulate the null and the alternative so under alternative we have taken that distance and charge columns are directly related to each other the level of significance is 0.05 we would have to follow this test statistic that is tested for ties so correction is already being made the first thing you need to calculate is s p minus q which is 84 Now students, if you just see T X, you have what X ki total ties hai. If you just remember, if we just go back, there are you know one, two, three, four, five values that are being tied. Or what? How many times appear? Or yeah, five times. Ten is appearing thrice, and then fifteen is appearing twice in the data. So by counting on them, we would be calculating T X. So half of sum of tx into tx minus 1 so first jo set of observation hai jo ke tied thi they were five five time aapke data mein total number of both time tie ho rahi thi into 5 minus 1 plus 10 jo observation thi wo three time appear ho rahi thi aur tied thi so 3 into 3 minus 1 and lastly we have the 15 observation that was appearing twice under x so 2 into 2 minus 1 summing over this column we got and dividing it with 2 we got the tx value as 14 similarly students you will be calculating ty agar aap ne note down kiya ho to y observations mein 
there was only one value which was appearing twice that was 46 so 2 into 2 minus 1 as it was appearing twice in the data so ty is being calculated as 1 now plugging all these values in the tower head we have got uh, 8 which is s divided by under root half summation tx into tx minus 1 minus 14 under root half then we have the rest of the values plugging them in we got t hat as 0.748 which is our calculated value under Kendall's tower test so students in order to design critical region I have shared the critical values for the Kendall's rank correlation coefficient here as you can see that alpha was 0.05 so under 0.05 for n equal to 16 we have 0 0.317 as it was a one tail test so we have designed the critical region that if our calculated value of tower head would be greater than this tabulated value 0 0.317 then we have to reject our null hypothesis on the basis of the evidence we have had. Now, as you can observe, that our calculated value of tower head comes out to be 0.748. So it falls in the critical region. Therefore, we have sufficient evidence to reject our null hypothesis against the alternative. So we can conclude that there is a direct relationship between the distance and charge columns.